Hi everybody, this is Nikki and welcome to another episode of Design Like a Pro. Today I'm going to walk you through setting up those inside pages for your book and how to use master pages and paragraph styles to lock in those styles that you want to use on subsequent pages so you don't have to recreate them every time. So let's get started. I have a lot of this completed just in the interest of time, but I'm going to walk you through and show you how I set up each section. So to begin with, we start with our page, and that is 6.5 by 9. It goes with the 13 by 9 book cover that we made in a previous tutorial. So you can see that we cut it in half because we're just going to work on those individual pages for the inside cover. And I like to create two separate documents for my cover and my pages. So that's why we're setting it up like this. Facing pages needs to be checked. And then I also have an eighth of an inch bleed around here just in case we need to use it. So let's start with the master pages. So when we think about books, there's a few things that are common. There's always a page number, there's usually an author or a chapter title, and then there's the name of the book. So on this master page, all I've done was taken a text box here, typed out my information, placed it at the top of the page, and then we're ready to go. So this is one master page that we have. And this will actually be for most of the pages that have my book content on them. Now to get a page number, you create another text box, you right click, insert special character, markers, and you add your current page number. This one is up top. This is the one that we use the most. And that's going to create those page numbers for you. So you don't have to go in there and hand number them all. It's a really great thing. So this happens on both pages. This is what's going to be on the left, and this is what's going to be on the right. Now, what about those pages that don't have page numbers? Well, we start out and make sure that there isn't a master page on here. So we're going to not apply a master page. Now, if you see that your what you have up here is appearing, just right click, go to apply master pages, and make sure that it says none. That way you don't have anything on these first few pages. You know, the first page is going to be your title page. So I copied that from my book cover, copied and pasted, and just made sure that font was black because we're working in black and white here. So that's my title page. The next page is, page is usually a copyright page. Copyright info, publishing info, printing info, all of that is usually on this next page here. And then on the third page, is a little dedication. So I said to all of my viewers and subscribers, thank you. So it's a little shout out to you guys, but usually there's a dedication here and you will see that there is no page number, title, or author on these pages. They're very simple. And then we go to page four and this is usually a blank page right before we start our chapter. So now you can see that we started our chapter. Now, this is on page five. How did I do this? Okay, first of all, I just dropped in a text box. This is a great way to design a page. Come over here, select your text box, right click, insert, fill with place holder text. That way you can kind of get an idea of how your pages are gonna look if you don't have text already. So that's what this is, just so you guys can see what this page looks like. Now, for this chapter, you format this however you want, whatever font you want to use, if you want to use all caps, if you want to use lowercase, it's up to you. But once you have it laid out the way you want to with your font and your size and your placement here, center, justification, whatever, once you have that, you can save this style so that you can apply it to all of your other chapters coming up. So it's a great way to save time. All you do is once you have that set, you select your text box, come over here to paragraph styles, and then click on this little drop down and go new paragraph style and name it whatever you want to. Now you could see I already have one set as my chapter titles. So I would name this chapter titles and then you can see that I already have it in place so it's not going to let me use it. But you could see that all of your formatting is set up right here. So then you save this. So then when you move forward to another chapter, you can easily just type it out. Doesn't matter if it's right, 
if it's all caps, lowercase, whatever, just type it out and then you just have to click over here and it'll apply that style. It's a great time saver. Okay, so then we go to the rest of our pages. Let me drag this down here. Okay, so the rest of our pages following a chapter, we're going to want to bring the master page that we created up here. We're going to want this to appear on page 6. From 6 on for right now, we want that to appear. So what you would do is you would select your pages. So 6, 7, and 8 I have selected right here because I'm going to start a new chapter on page 9. So these three pages is going to be my prologue. So you right click, go to apply master to pages, and then you make sure that your A master is selected. And then you can designate the actual page run that you want that to apply to. So 6, 7, and 8 all have that master page applied to it. And you can see that it consecutively counts up for you. So you won't have to do that yourself. Now on page 9 I have another chapter just because I wanted to show you what would happen if you wanted to add a chapter midway through like that. You don't want a page number so you see how these have little A's? That tells you that the A master is applied to those pages. Those that don't have it don't have any master applied to it. So you want to make sure that your chapter says none again on page 9. And then you can go ahead and I'll just show you here how nice those paragraph styles are. You can type in chapter one, okay, not worrying about the font, not worrying about the size, not even worrying about the case of the letters. And then we can go over here, select it, go to paragraph styles, click chapter titles, and voila, it now matches the same style that our prologue did. And you can still position this wherever you want. It doesn't have to match. It, it can match. It doesn't. It's up to you. And then here you can continue on with your text. But right now we're just setting up the file. We're not adding any actual content. So now we would continue on to page 10 and 11. So 10 and 11 have the A's because we've applied that master to 10 and 11. So if we want to continue adding pages, we just click this little button down here and we can add as many pages as we want to. And say we want page 15 to be another chapter, you just right click on page 15 in your pages box here, say none. Oh, I accidentally put it on both under that. Got to make sure, see how when you have two things selected here, it picked up both of them. So we just want that to be on 15. Okay. So none, just on page 15. There we go. So now it's gone. So again, we can start another chapter. So now we're on chapter 2. And remember, I'm not doing anything else. Go over here, chapter titles. And there's my chapter 2. So these master pages and these paragraph styles make it really easy to apply set styles to all of your pages so it'll save you a lot of time. You won't have to go and keep clicking around and, and formatting all of this as you move through. So this was a really brief look at how you can set up your book pages by using your master pages and applying paragraph styles to those key elements that you want to use over and over again. So I thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. As you know, we can't cover absolutely everything in just 10 minutes. So please leave those questions and I'll do my best. And also, if you have ideas for upcoming tutorials or if you have, if you have something you'd like me to cover, please email me at ideas at NikkiHeart.com and I will feature those in an upcoming tutorial. Thanks for watching and thank you to all of my recent subscribers and please remember to subscribe below so you can get the latest of Design Like a Pro. Thank you.